All right, team. So now you have basically pretty much everything that you need to know to begin practicing your journey of trading. And what we're going to go over today is confluence. So let me explain to you what confluence is. Confluence is basically confirmations for you to say, okay, I feel comfortable getting into this trade. And what you want to do is you want to create your own trading plan utilizing confluence. So, okay, I keep talking about confirmations. What are these confirmations? Let's talk. Let me put my, my box here. Let me quickly put confluence. Okay. So we're gonna talk about this together. And please take notes. Don't screenshot. I know a lot of people like the screenshot, but it's been proven that if you write things down, it stays embedded in your head longer. So I really want you guys to understand the importance of confluence. And this is something that I teach my VIP team. It's very important. You should have confirmations before entering a trade. And if those confirmations are not there or one of them are missing, then you understand that if you enter that trade, you're going against your plan and there's a possibility that it may not go the way that you anticipated. So you really have to learn to be disciplined and say, okay, well, I have back tested and I have been practicing and I realized that every time, for example, Euro USD or GPP USD or um, you know, USD JPY, they do this, it, it goes up. Or every time it does this, it goes down. Or I know that this trade likes retests. So, or this pair likes retests. So these are things that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to study a pair. I recommend as a newbie, just focusing on one pair. That's it. So as you can see, I've been working with Euro and GBP. It's the New York session. You have the times. If you're up at a later time, there also are London pairs. Those are great for advanced traders because they move a lot, but they're very volatile. So right now while you're learning, I would, you know, I'm not telling you you have to do this. It's just a recommendation. But essentially with what I teach, you can pretty much trade anything. And this also works with stocks, you guys. Now with stocks, obviously it's going to be different hours. It's literally during the New York session time and um, you want to get in, you know, to your trades before 12 o'clock. So you want to be up early, like around eight o'clock. So anyway, let's get back on subject. All right, so you learned about trend lines, right? The first thing is, can I identify a trend? Okay. The second thing you want to do is identify key levels. And are they being respected? Now, we always want to, after the break, we always want to wait for what? We want to wait for the pullback or the retest. So um, you have to ask yourself, is there a break, a structure, and has it retested? What does the price action tell me? What is the story? Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And that's very, very, very important. Okay. So let's go over these in detail. The first question is trend line. Can I identify a trend? Remember what we discussed earlier in the course, the trend is your friend. So, if there is a trend, this is great for you. This makes the trade easier, okay? It makes it easier and you're able to identify market structure. You're basically looking for pullback or retest to the trend line and that's important. Remember, trend lines are 90% stronger because the trend is your friend. So if you can identify that and you see that it's making either higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs, then you want to get in on that move. You want to get in on that move because that's going to most likely be a high probability trade if you exercise the tools that I've provided for you in this course. The next thing you wanna do is see if your key levels are being respected. So if you aren't able to identify a trend, 
okay? Or maybe you are. What you want to do is see the respect to your key level. Is the market attracted to it? Is it showing you rejection? Is it showing you that every time it, it retests it or breaks and retests it, it moves in the direction you anticipate? So imagine this. Imagine having a trend line and you have some market structure, right? And every time you, excuse me, every time it hits this, we're looking, right? We're looking for entries. But then if you add market structure to this, you now are making this a stronger probability trade. Not only do you have a retest of the trend line, you have a retest of market structure. So that is what we would call confluence. We have two things that are giving us confirmations to go ahead and get into this trade. So identifying your levels and market structure are going to be very important. Most likely your levels are going to be at an area of market structure as well. So you want to make sure if there is a break, remember this is a buy because we're going up. We don't buy high, we buy low, okay? We buy low and we sell high, okay? So you always want to get in at the best price possible. It's like going to the store or going to buy a car. Do you want to pay $43,000 or do you want that $6,000 rebate so you can save some money on the car? Which one do you want? I would think the obvious answer is to get that money off. It's the same thing when you're looking at trading like that. You want to make sure you get in at the best price because what will happen is if you get into a buy position down here, it still has to come back and retest the market. So now you're in a position up here because you weren't patient. And now you're going to have drawdown of 27 pips. And if you're new, most likely you're going to exit the trade because you're going to freak out. You have to be able to understand what's going on. And then the moment you pull out, it goes in the direction you anticipate. And you're like, oh man, like what happened? Well, what happened was you didn't wait for that retest of market structure. And if you missed a move, don't try to hurry up and rush into it. Wait for the next break and retest at the next level or trend line and just go on with the move, continue with the move. You do not have to catch every move of the market. The goal is to understand how it moves so you can capitalize and get your pips and dip. Okay, the last thing that you want to do is see what is price action telling you. So in our previous video, when we discussed, discussed entry, excuse me, we talked about how we had that rejection on the higher time frame, and then we went down to the lower time frame to see what those candles were telling us. And you want to study your price action. Is there rejection? Are there indecision candles? Um, is this a high um, bullish candle pattern or a high probability bearish candle pattern? These are things that you're going to have to learn. Now I do cover my favorite candle patterns in my VIP course, but for right now, study what you can in back test and see if you are able to spot these. And once you're able to spot these, you'll know on that next candle, you can go ahead <clears throat> and enter the trade. So if you decide to enter a trade, excuse me, <coughs> and it says, okay, can I identify a trend? The answer is yes. Is it respecting my key levels? Yes. Is there a break and retest of structure? Let's say it's yes. Is there a rejection at my level for me to confirm the direction? If the answer is yes, yes, then there's no reason why you should not take that trade. Now, if you notice that, let's say, for example, you have yes, yes, no, and no, then my friend, you need to wait, okay? Because you don't have enough confluence. So I personally look for, um, at least three confluences. That's just me in particular. It's up to you and what you want to do. But I definitely obviously have to have the break in the retest. I'm a retest trader. No retest, no trade. Um, and you also, you know, you want to look at price action and you also want to look to see if your levels are being respected. So that is what confluence is. And you want to incorporate this in your trading plan so you can become a more successful trader. And for those of you that are taking this course to um, trade stocks, you can now mark up your charts on this platform on TradingView, okay? And then go ahead and know when to put your alert or when to schedule your position for a buy, all right? 
So it's going to help you a ton, you guys. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out.